Today I'm going to be installing a line lock on this Dodge Charger. This is the main line coming from the master cylinder for the front brakes, so I'm going to take this line off here, and this is the line that I'm going to tap into. So I'm going to start by undoing it at each end here and here, and um, you want to make sure you don't get brake fluid anywhere because it will make the paint come off of surfaces. So I got some rags around there and I'm going to start loosening up the brake lines here. I'm gonna take this wire and run it from that area in through the firewall into the inside of the car. This is where I'm gonna pass the wires through. All right, now it's time to find the wires on the side. I'm going to zip tie this along the wires into the proper position. Okay, I decided the button's going to go in this piece here, so I'm going to drill a hole in it and we'll get it wired in. Okay, so I got a ground here, and this is the positive to the battery, and this is going to be the positive going to the solenoid for the line lock, and this is going to the line lock, and the other wires for the light on the switch to light up when it's pressed. This is the end that's going to attach to the line lock. This is the, the ground for the switch. So these are the pieces I got. This is the inlet, and these are the outlets. It's going to go like that, and I'm going to put the lines into it. The plugs are going to go on the side.
button over here. And the button's wired up to power, but it's not wired up to solenoid yet. That's coming from the switch, and I'm going to ground this there, and I'm going to solder these wires. Alright, now that I got it all installed, I'm going to have to bleed the brakes now. Really, you only got to bleed the front brakes, but uh, I'm going to bleed all four because I haven't bled it in a little bit. Alright, so I already got the rear wheels bled, so... Now I'm gonna bleed the front brakes. I'm gonna grease that side up, put it together, and then I'm gonna bleed the front ones. And after the front ones are bled, we'll uh, test to see if it works. Okay, the brakes are now bled, so all that's left is to check for leaks, and uh, we're gonna check to see if it works. Make sure nothing's leaking and you're good to go.